I'm not sure if we're hunting bears or mosquitoes. We've seen three bears in this, by these fields, by this beaver pond. And we've seen a, at least three mosquitoes, so we're doing good. I have something to say about hunting. Okay, hunters kill animals. That's true. Mm -hmm. And dead animals are not very natural. Like yes, they are. No, that's the most natural thing. No, it's true. Everything lives and dies, right? So it is natural, but it's not very nice. So I get that. I'm okay. okay. If yep. you don't like dead bodies, I get that. I kind of don't like it either. Yeah. However, I do believe this, and that is if you're a human, yep. then your life kills animals. You're responsible. Did you hear that? Even if you're like vegan, vegan. You, and, and I get vegan, even if you're a vegan, your life vegetarian. kills animals. Now I get it. Like, listen, if you're a vegan or vegetarian or like some sort of like socially responsible person or you're a hunter and a conservationist, like I would consider myself, then what you're trying to do is like limit your impact, right? That's right. Responsible consumption. It's about killing less animals, but the truth is your life is killing animals no matter what. Mm -hmm. Because even if you eat soy, the soy is planted in like a giant field that used to have a forest that used to be full of squirrels and birds and reptiles, and now they're all gone. Yeah. And they didn't just go the next door. There's not like, like a little forest next door that has all the animals from like the yeah. whole state or province, and they're all like, like huddled out in like some little forest. No, they're dead. Those animals that used to live... Where the farm is, they're dead. They're gone. Because they, they don't have the food yeah. that they're used to, and they don't have the house that they're used to, and they don't have the shelter. Yeah. Like, literally, they died of starvation, or they died of, like... Extermination. They, you, get, you can't have No, what do you call that when the elements... Uh, exposure, exposure. Right? So did I say that twice? No. And then there's disease, right? So when there's too much competition, when all the animals yeah. are squished in one area, and they... Anyways, the truth is they die. And again, I'm not saying that... If you're if you eat soy that you're killing animals, but that's the truth. That's what, I, and you're just talking about the field. There's also the roads now to transport the soy. Well, exactly, the and the chemicals the and the fertilizers. The and I'm not trying to make to it evil. The... I'm not saying it's evil. Okay. No. I'm just saying that no matter reality. what you consume, your life for you to live, Has other impacts. things are devastated. Yeah. Now, for me, I hunt, and we get all our protein from hunting and fishing. And so, you know, I kill a few animals and a few fish every year yep. for, for our family. 
And that's true. And I accept it. And in fact, it's, it's really humbling to have an animal that's dead. And then you look at it and you're like, that's pretty sad because it was a beautiful animal and it's dead just so I can eat it. And if you're a, like, a, if the problem is when you're like just a vegetarian and then you give me a hard time for killing an animal, if that's you, because there's hardly any like that. But there's the odd person who thinks that I'm like bad for killing animals. The hmm. problem is it's hard for you to look at like soya beans and be like, this represents a whole bunch of dead animals because I burnt down the forest that they used to live in. But that's kind of the truth, right? Yeah. It's just indirect. Yeah. Everything has an impact. It's true. So the key is, let's just be like kind to each other. Okay? Can you? Can we do that? We can. No, like we, we don't can. have to do it right now. But I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I'm not going to blame you for doing whatever lifestyle you want. Um, but I, what I'd hope that we could do is just recognize that certain people are trying to limit their impact. Responsible consumption. Okay? I, I like don't go. That. I don't go around like a wolf just killing stuff for fun. Um, I try and use and and not waste whatever it is that That's I'm. That's right. Okay. Even when we're getting firewood, right? You're you're trying to use it all. Exactly. Yeah. yeah we don't want to waste firewood. Okay. Let's go bear hunting. Still looking for a bear. We see a couple more. First bear, one shot. And don't point that at me. Good job, man. Big boar. Oh, wow. There's a few bugs wow. out. down right away. That is beautiful. Oh man, and we got Smokies now. It's a totally healthy bear. And Finn's got one right over here. Out of this thing. Some pants. <laughs> underwear. <laughs> Winter underwear. <laughs> Some people wonder why we would ever hunt bears. And the answer is pretty simple. We hunt to eat. And there's tons of bears here. There's just tons. They're uh, they're the most they're the most abundant wild animal around. And something else abundant here yeah yeah there's there's also abundant protein like right in the yeah. air oh, wow yeah. that is great you ever, so, are you ever nervous like I see that bear right in there in front of me but what if there's a bear right behind me you know what the bears don't bother us no no because you what you don't know is that we smell like bears too well, like they can I, I know that you smell like a, I think that's a kind, kind, anyways.
Yeah, we and you know we can't smell us. I can but, smell you. <laughs> but the bears can smell us. And they're like, you know what? Those bears are different, and they're sickly. We We're need to stay away from those. Yeah, they stay away from us. That's for sure. I think they can smell how powerful we are. Yes, I would agree with that. Yeah, so they don't bother us, powerful and smell. Uh, 